hello friends today we will discuss about the sp.net core and uh, how to use code first so let's create visual uh, project for sp.net core so click on create project select sp.net core web application rename your project and whatever you want to rename the project so let's start rename and crude ASP core click on create button it will take time so just to wait for two or three seconds showing. click on web application model view controller click on create button and now project is creating so project created so there are many things in the project so let's start from step by step open startup.cs file and we have to define the connection string in our app setting.json so rename as per your SQL configuration and you can rename your database whatever you want to put so create an application db context.cs file and rename the cs file is application db context so let's create and inherit the db context class and import the namespace for the db context class namespace name is microsoft entity framework.core and create a constructor for application db construct context and it should be public here define inside the constructor db context options pass the parameter application db context variable name is options and you have to also inherit the base and pass the variable option so this is the basic things to be write in application db context cs file so open your startup.cs file here some dependencies so we should register here so write a wire and get connection string and change the add db context file name application db context this is the service to use sql server so we have to define here and we have also use namespace for use sql server so click on use sql server method and sp.net core so this is the basic things we have defined here so let's start to create a model before create the controller we have to create a model <coughs> so rebuild the project and we cannot create because it's project rebuilding so when it will succeed then we can create controller or model but now i need to create model sorry i have selected controller but we need to create model first then in controller it will show so first of all create employee.cs model 
and we have to add some properties in this thing class so let's create long IMP ID and create some other fields this is the class but when you will migrate this application with your database it will create a database inside the class name created as a table name inside your database so rename your properties and its data type now i em the name would be string because its name address would be string its name because its address company name it should be also a string but here i emp status it should be boolean because when status will created it will store only true or false and date time by default set the date time for that date when you created and use key for the primary key using name space data annotation save this model and build the project add the controller create mvc controller with entity framework and select the your model name and application db context you can rename your controller but i am not rename controller so it's updating dependency injections building projects it will take time for scaffolding after that the controller will be created as well as your view will be created now you can see your controller is created and your view is created so go in tool and open the package manager type here enable migration first this thing should be apply enable migration second is add migration type your name type for e migration name it will create a cs file inside define the all tables and relationship everything about the database it will take time 2 second 3 second about depends on your model and last you have to use update database it will update your class file inside your database if database is not created first of all it will create the database inside table name so these are few steps which you can use in your project step 1 enable migration it only use only first time add migration when you change your model you want to update then you have to use again add mod add migration now open your microsoft sql management in which you can see database is created or not expand the data is yes. you can see crude entities this database is already exist in my uh, database in my sql server so there are two uh, tables seen here but model name is employee so employee is my table which is declared in my project employee employees database is already exist so let's delete this so let's do one another things now create another model <coughs> 
but first of all when you create a model and created application db context you have to define here inside the db set your model name then database will automatically generate your table name when you will migrate then it will get from here add another model name is designation so let's do this my designation id whatever you want to and choose column name you can define here कैसे ही हो रहा है सो हियर आई हैव क्रिएटेड सम प्रॉपर्टीज फॉर दैट क्लास डेजिग्नेशन एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू योर रिक्वायरमेंट यू कैन डिफाइन हियर द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट प्रॉपर्टीज एंड नेम So apart from this, we have created a class and defined these things, and also defined the key for the designation ID. And we don't need to define auto increment; it will uh, also create an auto increment. So let's copy this and only change the your model name here. Rename the variable of model name. So. Save this. And go in your tools, NuGet Package Manager, Package Console, and write here Add Migration because I have created another model. So need to add another model, but do not use the same migration name. So I have. Uh, first of all, I have created employee one. Now created employee two. Uh, it's created. Now use update database. Database is updated, but it will take time. Yes, now done. You can see you know our SQL server. Second table is designation created. So that's good. You can create table and database from your code. Now create another control for designation. Select the view and select your model application DB context and create. Now it's created. So let's start start your application and see it's working or not. So now it's opening. It's a home page. Home. It's a home controller and index view is open. So. It's a home page you can see here. I have opened, but it's redirect to home controller. So you can see another things in startup dot file, startup dot cs file. You can see the registration and by default. The routing, so you can manage from the uh, from that uh, class file. You can change your routing. So open that and uh, type here employees. Uh, 
Now run this project. We can see here. Enter employee name and I employee address. This is the by default view created in which you can see the same column name. You can rename this, open the view and you can rename your column as you want. So don't think that it's mandatory to show your column name as it is, which is created in your database. You can change. Now we need to add the timing inside this. So add the timing. Create. It's created. It's uh, asking for the term and condition and put cookies again and again. I uh, I think this is open in incognito mode, so it's asking for again and again. So you can so here you can delete, edit, and update each and everything so this is the overall video in which we have we are discussed how to perform crude operation in sp.net core using code first this is the anti forgery key uh, this is the uh, prevent from scripting attacks in your project so when you post your method so you have to use this is the overall thing. so please subscribe my channel like share and comments and please don't forget to press the bell icons you will get all the notification when I will update in our channel like videos comments and much more things I hope you enjoyed guys please learn and learn more uh, more from more I'd, I'd like to thank you watch my video thank you guys thank you so much